Hello everybody, my name is Bill Thompson. Welcome to Bill's World. Today we are going to take a look at possibly the greatest video collection every diehard Disney fans want to get their hands on. And you know what I'm talking about. right, the Black Diamond Disney Classics. Get ready now because we're going back in time. The year is 1984 and Robin Hood is the premier release of the newly launched by Walt Disney Home Video called The Classics. Walt Disney Home Video. You should know about the first three releases coming in such packaging, which will be recognizable by the pattern, the hinge, the spine, and most notably, what's inside. And that, of course, is the logo, right on the clamshell. This pattern of Disney Classics later repeated with the video premiere of Pinocchio, then a reissued Dumbo, a video premiere of Sword in the Stone, and a reissue of Alice in Wonderland. The first five classics. The latter three that I mentioned have the Neon Mickey logo. No, I'm not going to show it to you. Later prints have the classics logo. Here's some odd reason. Dumbo had the black padded clamshell, but not the classics Walt Disney Reveal logo on the actual program. This was fixed later on for the for a reissue. Sword in the Stone had a black non-padded clamshell, but the Disney animators were, ex were still unsure how they put on. Sorry, how they would put something like that in the logo on a classic Walt Disney video tape. Alice in Wonderland's first classic print came in, accordingly, as part of the Wonderland sale for Disney around 1986, in a cardboard sleeve. I wouldn't blame Disney for that. I would simply just blame the person in charge. All of those first five classics... Few of us also came in white padded clamshells. Were they released in white clamshells with slip remove artwork as opposed to the um, artwork being put into the clamshell in the padded version? The first is in VHS. In the classic line, after Neon Mickey was put away for good and put in and replaced by the social Mickey logo, was in fact Sleeping Beauty. And it's also the first VHS by Disney in a high fidelity. Now we continue the process with, with the premiere of Lady and the Tramp, the premiere of. Cinderella, the video premiere of Bambi, a few re-releases of the earlier classics, Fantasia, Jungle Book, Little Mermaid, Peter Pan, just to name a few. I 
I'll take you see some of those VHSs. Oh, here we go. Here we are in my room. There are a few Disney VHSs I have. And Pat Clamshell's white. Yeah. Uh, on top, here are a few. There's Pinocchio. I have three copies of this, of Pinocchio, by the way. First Classics release, Padded, Masterpiece, and 1999. I couldn't blame Disney for false advertising on Pinocchio being available for the last time in the 20th century. And down here, there's Cinderella Classics, Dumbo Classics, Sleeping Beauty Classics, Laying the Tramp Classics, and back here, Robin Hood Classics, White, 101 Dalmatians Classics, Great Mouse Detective Classics, Fantasia, and so forth. There's Aladdin, Peter Pan, and it's and the sequels of Aladdin. Guy, I gotta get this room cleaned up. Man, I'm gonna trip in this room. Well, anyway. I'll see you next time.